Hey, what's up, guys, and welcome to a brand new video on the channel today. Today, guys, we have episode number three of the AC Milan career mode on FIFA 21. Now, thank you guys for the support on the two previous episodes. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you guys again for more transfer suggestions throughout the second uh, video. Again, appreciate that because it does help me out a bit um as i don't want to be one of those like i don't want to just sign the same player in uh, a different career mode i do or the same player that like most youtubers do because i find that if people are watching different teams and different youtubers and they all just sign the same players i just feel like i just want to try and do try and be a bit different with the signings i do make now we do have uh, a few positions that we're looking for now there were a lot of suggestions again so what i have done is put them all in the shortlist unfortunately it's deadline day so players like all of these players here uh, unfortunately I, I haven't been able to scout them now jovic was one that i put there myself uh, i'm gonna get rid of him just because he's too much someone did su suggest tovan but as you can see he's uh, valued at 20 29 but he's we might have to offer between 37 and 53 and i don't have the money especially when i'm trying to go after a striker and a right wing as well um, someone did offer, uh, ask me or try to ask me to sign Mukele, but unfortunately he's gone to Napoli, so there's no way we were able to get him. So I can't be able to get him. So Maxim was also suggested. Um, again, he's just one that I think is going to be too expensive for us uh, for now. However, we did see the problem is we do want to try and get a right back, centre back, um, right back, striker, and right wing. Now, someone that did interest me was this uh, Diata. Now, he's only 21, and he can play right wing, left wing, and striker. So he could potentially be our stri striker backup and our left wing and right wing. And um, what I am going to do, as he's not scouted, uh, I've had to pull up his um, place the estimate value. Now, he's got a release for the 34 million, which we will not be paying. I'd rather negotiate that. Um, so hopefully... Let's just check the players that we have. Do we have anyone that we can offer now? We got Rafael Liao, who I could potentially just swap for. Let's see if they would take a swap deal. Tonali. Well, there's no way Tonali's leaving. Uh, remove exchange player. Um, let's see how much they would want then, because I do not want to be giving away Tonali for that. Let's go 18. Let's see how much they would want. 33 million now we don't have um 33 million in the bank what about 23 million let's see what they say to 23 million 27 okay we've got them down we've got them down a little bit which is what i like player swap oh not player swap and uh, let's go down if we get 24 300 out of you guys let's see if we can get that 27 okay i'm still gonna ask for a bit more what about 25? We'll say yes to that. Okay, Club Bruges said yes to 24 or 25 million pounds. So, let's see what we're going to give him. So, he's going to be an important first team player. He will start right wing for us. Four year contract, happy with that. Let's see what they... Let's do no release clause and then they want that, which I'm very happy to give him. So, that's our first deadline day signing. Let's see the squad quickly. Now, he is going to replace our current right wing. And I'm also going to take out uh, Brahim. I didn't really like using him. Um, so, Diata is in the squad now. Uh, I'm going to keep the bench like that as it is for now. I'm going to save that. And uh, we're not done just yet. So, we've secured our right wing and potentially striker backup. So, uh, Isaac. Now, again, he's another one that was suggested by one of you guys. And unfortunately, now we've made that signing. I don't think we're going to have enough money to be able to purchase him because we just... Unfortunately, he's one that I'll keep on the shortlist, though, because maybe in January or the season after, we could potentially get him. Right wings, we don't need a right wing now, so I'm happy to get rid of them. Now, striker. Now, there's a few here which I was interested in, but as it stands, I just don't see me being able to sign them. Just based on the fact that they are, you know, not, um, what am I trying to say? It's just like the value for these players is going to be way too high. Like Santi Mina is valued at 10 million, but he's got a release clause of 21. Origi is valued at 14. Uh, Dennis is valued at 10.5. 
There was someone else which I had on the list. How much is Tammy Abraham again? He's done at 26. So he's way too much. I think I'm going to focus on the right back for this um, position. And we do have a few right backs there. Now, it was between these three which I picked out. Emerson is way too much for us. Look at his release clause and his value is just way too much anyway. So I'm going to get rid of him. Um, William is a 75 overall and he's 6.5 million. He's 25. Or we do have the Dutch right back from Half Berlin, uh, Zifuk or Z Zifuk. Uh, yeah, that's how you pronounce his name. It's obviously not the best of names. To, pr to pronounce but i'm gonna be trying to go for him first to see if we can get him in now do we have any players we just see the problem is with fullbacks we just have like none um we could just whack him in then and then add like six million as well let's see if they'll take that they probably won't oh they want the right mids plus three and a half well plus three thousand three million seven hundred fifty let me counter that you can have him, but just for 3 million. Because we've got players on the... Let's say 3 million. That's a fair offer. Okay, so there. We've got our move from our right back. Um, So let's see what he would want. Let's go important. He will be starting for us. Again, another one starting for us. 4 million... Oh, 4 year contract. Sorry, I don't know why I said that. Um, disregard that. And then he wants that. Happy days, 18 grand a week's not bad. And there is our signing on deadline day, the second one. He's going to be playing right back. I'm going to put him straight in. And um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, Dallo is on the bench for some reason. I don't know why he's on the bench. Um, we could just put... Who could we put on the bench here? We could just put maybe Maldini. Might put Maldini on the bench. To be fair, we do probably need a right. We probably do need a fullback. So I'll put Dallow on the bench for now. So the team is looking a bit better now. We've got a few more squad players in the team. Now, obviously, I did say I wanted to bring in a sub striker. But looking at it, I mean, we've we've got like no money left. Caledonia, we could have got a cam replacement. But I guess Maldini will do, being the youngster he is. Uh, let me just go straight over to the transfer hub quickly. So yeah, these guys, I know you guys did suggest them, but unfortunately I just had the money. Lorente was, he is transfer listed for 2 million. Now, I was tempted to just buy him just as a backup striker, but we've already got Ibra who's really old. And I think, I guess just Rebic is just going to have to do from the bench. Um, if I had more money to play with, then obviously I could, but I could go and do some like swap deals. For example, l let's just test this out with Santi Mina, for example. Someone that no one really would sign. I just want to go see if they have, if we have any players. So like, for example, we got Rafael Liao on the bench. To be fair, like we, we, yeah, we just don't really have much, much money. Let me just do remove him. Let's see, do we have any like wingers we don't use? Do we? We're gonna keep those midfielders. This is where we've got actually quite a lot, which we don't actually use. Like we don't use him. But offer that, and offer 2.4 million as well. Actually, I'll do 3.4. See what they say to that. I'm probably going to say no. Plus 11 million. Uh, well, I don't have 11 million. So for this one, we're going to end negation. I just don't have enough. Um, there's another one which I want to try, Dennis. I wouldn't mind trying him. Again, another player which we're going to try and just basically swap one of our players we just don't use in and we've got quite a lot of defenders now i am tempted to put maybe see these two are quite old now or have we put ah uh, no nah, we don't want... do we want to a try and give two million plus that center back who's valued at 13. oh okay so they've said yes to that i will happily take that because we have a lot of center backs at the club already that is great business. So, Dennis only wants to be that type of um, sporadic like player. I thought he would have wanted a bit better than that, but I will take that. I don't want that. He'll take that. And boom, just like that, we've got our sub striker, potentially starting striker, to Ebro because Ebro is getting old. Uh, but for now, he is in the team. Uh, this does mean, uh, if I take... Because Rebic can play 
Well, he's not, he's a striker, but I can play Rebic um, somewhere else, to be honest. Dennis will come in, uh, and that's what the team's going to look like for now. So, we've got our two defenders on the bench, which is fine. We've got uh, Hall, Kese, Rebic, and Dennis. What I'm going to do is go to Rebic's thing and change him to a cam. Now, um, this, this might be a bit strange to do. Uh, let me just sort that to position. Oh, okay. I thought it would have taken me to the top. Anyway, what I'm going to do, I want to try and get him to be a cam just because he can play striker or left mid, but I feel like when I've used Rebic, he feels better in like behind a striker. Uh, so what we're going to do, I'm going to do that now. Attacking midfielder. So I don't know. That probably will take a while to do, but uh, yeah, I just like Rebic in behind the striker. Um, but for now, that is deadline day. What I'm going to do, I am going to walk through essentially deadline day with you guys just so you can see what we get up to and then we're going to go into some gameplay once um this deadline day does pass i don't well i was about to say i don't expect any transfer offers but we just got a big offer from inter but i'm going to reject that um just because i don't castillo would be a good squad player to use and i don't want him to i don't want him to go essentially uh, unless he does want to leave himself which i don't think he will transfer offer for um Masaccio. Uh, Mus Mus oh my, I don't know how to pronounce his name. That's, I'm sorry for all you fans out there. Uh, we are going to reject that. I didn't mean to press that. We've rejected that already. Again, good squad player to have for uh, rotation. Uh, he did. Oh, he did get loaned out. I can't remember which team that is to. Anyway, we're we're going to move on. Uh, loaned out. Obviously, I, I accepted the loan, so that's fine by me. I did look at the loan list to try and maybe loan a player in, but let's be honest, I'm going to be honest with you guys, there wasn't really anything to look at or bring in that was worthy of starting for our squad. Um, and there's no point bringing a youngster on loan just to sit on the bench. They want to be getting um, game experience. Anyway, we're going to move on into the last bit here. Tonali, Leverkusen 22. I'm going to block that straight up. Tonali is never going to leave while I'm in charge. Uh, he's one of the most important players in the side. And yeah, that is going to be the end of deadline day. We had a successful deadline day. We've brought in three new players. Three players that go straight into the starting lineup. Well, Dennis will probably have to wait. Um, boss, just want to say thanks. I suppose you took a chance talking to you. Seems like you're ready to listen to what I have to say. Um, it's all worked out well, Romagnoli. Thank you very much. Now, before I do get into the gameplay, I do want to show you guys the first game of the episodes against Fiorentina. Then we do have our first Europa League game, which I will play. And then we do have our next game, which is against... Who is that against? I don't even know the bad. Oh, Hellas Verona. Then we have another game away. Um, I might try and play this whole month this uh, for this episode. But I think because this, this... Well, this is already up to 13 minutes. So I think we'll just get away with playing these two games and then simulating this game. And potentially simulating this one as well because I don't want to play every game because it will take quite a, a while to progress in terms of videos for you guys and obviously I want to like speed up the process a bit and then uh, see how far we can go anyway enough chit chat transfers are done make sure to leave a like on the video comment down below your thoughts and opinions on the video and make sure to subscribe if you haven't already thank you guys for the support so far and we're going to jump into the first game of the episode Well then guys, as you can see, nice new cutscene added to the next gen consoles. Ebra coming out of the bus there. Let's see if we can get a result against Fiorentina. Obviously, not the best of starts to the season, but we can all, we can always change that. Let's see if we can do so in this first game of the episode. Let's see how we get on. Here come Fiorentina of uh, Catrone. Calion now on the ball. Hasn't really got anywhere to go. Going to keep him in the corner. Goes all the way back to the right back. Can we get there with the tackle? Fernandez are a great tackle. Can't pick up the second ball. Amrabat in the centre of midfield now. Tonali can't quite get there. Ball played through. Good defending from us there. And we can get the ball clear to the new signing, Diata. Tonali now. Ibra's making the run. Obviously, not the quickest of players. But Ibra can hold the ball up well. Diata, great ball. Can he get the cross in? Diata's whipped it in. Back post. We can't get a shot on goal. Here comes Fiorentina now. Breaking through our defence. Great tackle from Milenkovic. The new signing. Starting to play. Uh, starting to form um, a pretty good partnership with Romagnoli. Uh, we're going to get the ball now. 
I'm going to go throw in for us, which is fine. I don't mind that. We're going to go to the right back. Again, another new signing in the club. Tonali now slides it through to Ibra. Going to have to hold the ball up here. Good run from Dekata. Uh, Kalanoglu. Ibra's through the middle. Can Ibra get the shot away? Ibra! Saved by the keeper. Corner now. Ibra's front post. Whipped in. Ibra's there. It's can't quite get to him. Tonali now. Romagnoli, not really the one you want on the edge of the box. Ibra spins him. Ibra, Slatan Ibrahimovic with the goal. It's 1 0 to AC Milan. Ibra with the goal. What a finish that is from Ibra. Lovely turn on the spin there. As you can see, Romagnoli plays it back to, I believe that was. I don't know who that was. Fear had to make. Oh no, Romagnoli had the ball. Played it to Ibra. And he's absolutely smashed that into the back of the net. And we're winning 1 0 now inside the first 30 minutes of the game. Ibra now on the ball. Gonna play this ball. What a pass that is. Oh my god. Diata. Diata. Oh no, he's missed it. He's got to be scoring that on his debut. Can't quite get the ball in. Diata, unfortunately, couldn't convert. Is Tonali now bursting through from a central mid? Can he get the cross in? Back post. Can we score? Oh, he's missed. Back post. Ibra now on the ball. Can he find the switch? That is a great ball over the top. Diata making the run. Can he slide it across? No, he can't, but Ibra's still got the ball. Ibra, what a turn that is. Ibra! Great save. Corner kick now. Ibra with the chance. Unlucky there. Can we get the ball whipped in? Ibra is there. Ibra's there! And it's another goal for Slatan Ibrahimovic. The 38-year-old is taking this game by storm. What a finish from Ibra. Great header. As soon as you've seen that ball go in, straight in the middle of the box, you knew Ibra was going to get on the end of that. I'm going to bring Kessie on for Tonali. Tonali's stamina's going, running a bit low, um, so I want to. I don't want to burn him out, because obviously we've got that Europa League game coming up, so I'm going to take him off. Anyway, 2-0 now, Ibra, another goal. Let's see if we can get another one. Ibra's won the ball back here. Now, can we get something here? Kessie's made a beautiful run in through the middle. Kessie, can he shoot? He scored again! Another goal for us. Kese bangs it in the back of there. What a run that is from central midfield. Ibra winning the ball back. Slides it through. Kese never going to miss from there, is he? Bang into the back of the net. 3-0 now. And that is surely game over. Here come Fiorentina. Can they get one goal back before the end of the game? What a challenge that is from Romagnoli. Oh, my God. Donnarumma throws it out now. Can we get on the counter? Play it back to the centre-back. Kese on the ball. Kalanoglu, lovely first touch that is. Can he slide it down the line? Great ball inside, but I don't think we're going to get that and we're not. Here comes Fiorentina again. Franck Ribéry on the ball. Romagnoli, the defender to go up against him. Fio Hernandez does pick up the second ball. Ibra now. Oh, no, it's not Ibra. Oh, no, that's not who I meant to go to. I was trying to get the switch on there, but we couldn't do that. Dos Santos now on the ball. Lovely tackle from Martinelli. Ibra's on the ball. I'm going to wait for that run of Diata. Can he get this goal on his second chance of the game? Diata bangs it in on his debut. Let's go. Diata, the new right wing, bangs it in the back of the net. 4-0 now against Fiorentina. What a result this has turned out to be, especially after our poor start to the season. Lovely stuff. Diata with his first goal in a Napoli shirt. Uh, not a Napoli shirt, in an AC Milan shirt. Sorry for the mishap there. Anyway... 4-0 now, that should be game over. Let's see if we can just hold out with a clean sheet, preferably, uh, because obviously we've defended really well this game, and I don't want to throw that away. Ibra now slides it through. Hog has just come on. Can he get a goal? Hog going to go for the shot. Oh, no, he's put it over. Diata now on the ball. Ah, that's a poor pass from him. Only five minutes left of this game. Like I said before, I hope just to keep the... Um, Clean sheet, Ribery with a nice bit of skill. And again, poor tackle from Hernandez. He's missed the ball completely. And the ref's given advantage here. Again, just want to try and keep this clean sheet. Yes, a lovely tackle. Ran into our own player there. Now, Ibra. Can he see that switch? Oh, my God. That's a great ball to Hog. Can he do something down the line? He's going to go right to the byline. Can he get the cross in? Oh, he can't. And the... Fiorentino is just going to clear that now. And that is full time. What a result that is for us.
great win. Obviously bouncing back from that loss in the previous episode. Now we're going to go into the next game of the episode, which is going to be in the Europa League. Let's see how we get on. All right then guys, moving on into the first Europa League game of the season. Now, I have rotated the side a fair bit because obviously we've only just come away with that uh, win against Fiorentina. So I wanted to uh, firstly rest a few players for the league because um, the, the team we're playing isn't the best. I'm going to say that before we do start. And um, I just, yeah, I just don't didn't want to risk um, injuring players or their match fitness for the next game, which is obviously only going to be in a few days. Now, we have rotated fairly heavily, like I said. Um, with Dennis getting his first game uh, for the club. Again, we haven't changed every position, but I just felt like we needed to switch up the team as Hogg now is running through. Can he find the player at the back post? He can't. He's going to get a second attempt at this. No, he's not. Throw in to uh, the other team. I don't even know who we're playing against, by the way. I, I didn't even check properly. Um, I think it's some Danish team by the looks of things. Um, but anyway, let's see how we get on uh, as we do have the ball. Maldini, again, debut for him. Well, or well, first start of the season for him um, as we haven't used him yet this season. Anyway, let's see how we get on. Castillo now. We've got a lot of space in front of him. And then there's a defender, but what a touch that is. Lovely ball through to Dennis with his first shot for the club. And it's a goal. Dennis gets his first goal for the club on his debut. Just like Diata, debut goal for his first start. Castillo did brilliantly with that lovely ball. Look at that, sends the defender the wrong way. And he plays an absolutely amazing ball through to Dennis. And it's now 2 oh, it's now 1 0 against um, Sonjizaik. I don't know how you pronounce that. I've absolutely butchered that name. But anyway, we are 1 0 up now. And we're playing very well today so far. Ball played over the top. Is Hall going to get onto that? No, he's not. Do have a chance here, Martinelli. Hog, Dennis on the turn, and it's saved by the keeper. Here come the opposition again. I don't even know how to pronounce their name. Let's be honest. Oh my God, they've got through and they've scored. It's 1-1 one, one. out of nothing, out of literally nothing. What I was about to say, I was just about to say, um, uh, to be honest, there's not really going to be much threat here, but what have I just done? I've let them through and they've scored to equalize. Look at this ball, As to be fair. Oh, it's a great pass because we thought he was going to go to the other striker and he hasn't. And that is 1-1 now. Again, Sonde Jaike. I don't know how you pronounce them. Jonde will call them for now. But that is not what you want to see. Castillo now, a bit of skill. Again, probably don't really need to be doing that now. Dennis now on the ball. Can he slide in? Hog. I don't know if he's offside. Hog. He's not offside. Hog. Oh, what a finish. That is top corner. And we're up. 2-1 now in the 35th minute. That's pretty much straight away from the kickoff. What a goal that is from Hogg. Lovely, lovely finish. What a pass this is from Dennis. On his first game for the club, goal and assist already. Bangs it in top corner. And that's a lovely finish. We're now 2-1 up against Sonder. Dennis plays a lovely ball through to Hogg. Can he get a shot off? He's going to make the run to Kese in the middle. Oh, he's put it over. How has he missed? Oh my god, Kese. How have you missed that? Look at that. Oh my god, he should be scoring there. Kese is absolutely blowing it there. Thank god we're already winning, but still, that should have been game over there. Dennis again plays in Hogg. That's a lovely pass, lovely touch. Can he get the finish? And he does, Hogg, with the second goal of the or his second goal of the game. Lovely finish from the youngster. Again, lovely link-up player with Dennis. That's a second assist for Dennis in this game. Lovely finish from uh, Hogg again. And we're now 3-1 up. Ball played through to right. Right now. Can't get the tackle in with Romagnoli. It, Jacobson's won the ball back. Can't get rid of it. But Dallo. He does now, though. Dennis. Can't get the flick onto Kese. Now he can. What a pass that is. Kese. Can he get... He can't, he can't really catch up. Kese shoots, saved by the keeper. Can Rebic get on the back up? No, he can't. Corner now. 15 minutes left. Ball whipped in. Dennis's front post. Can't do anything with that. Martinelli, what a touch that is. Let me go inside to Rebic. Can Rebic get the shot away? Rebic is miles over. Is Ebra just brought him on for the last 10 or so minutes? And Hawk, who is on a hat trick, 
cuts inside. Hawk, can he get the shot away? That's saved by the keeper. Romagnoli with a great challenge. How's that a foul ref? What? I thought, I thought that was a great challenge. Anyway, free kick for the opposition here. Let's see if we can just get a um, offside trap on the go here. Did it work? No. But anyway, saved by the keeper. I'm going to go right out to Castillo on the wing. Can he get that switch? I can see it. Oh my god, that is awful. That is not where I wanted the ball to go. And they've just given the ball straight back to me. I don't know what happened there. I was aiming for the right back. Oh no, I've given it short as well. Oh no. No, what am I doing? No. Oh my god, what am I doing? Oh, I've given the ball away. It's the 89th minute. I can just keep the ball, but so sloppy from me. I didn't mean... I meant to go to the middle centre back, and I've moved the analogue stick too, too far over. But I think we'll be able to see this game out. How many added minutes? We've got three added minutes. And, oh my god, we've given the ball away again. Martinelli's given it away. Romagnoli has to do well to keep the ball. Castillo now on the counter. This should be game over. Can we switch this? No, we can't. Inside. Rebic now. Can he get the shot on the half volley? Ibra's there with the shot. And it's saved by the keeper. And that should be full time. Ref, any chance? Thank you very much. Thank God for that. That was, I, that was too close than what it needed to be at the end there. Anyway, we've won the game. That's all that matters. Castillo, I still can't get over that um, ball roll to the through ball for Dennis's first goal. Anyway, let's move on into the next game of the episode against Hellas Verona. Right then, guys. As I said at the start of the episode, we are going to introduce some sim games. Again, the team is nearly fully fit. I'm going to put Mar I'm going to take Martinelli out for this game because he is a bit tired. We do have a lot of um, backup players in the um, CDM. We're just going to completely put him out of the squad for this game, just because he's a bit. Um, he's not exactly um, fully fit for this game. Romagnoli, I could, but to be honest, we're going to just keep him playing. I'm going to simulate the game, and we did in fact draw two all with Hellas Verona. Uh, again, not really the result we want to see. But anyway, this is going to be the end of the episode. Make sure you did. Uh, make sure you do leave a like on the video if you did enjoy. Make sure to subscribe if you're new around here. Thank you guys for the support, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.